中国大陆房市低迷也影响到经济，宣布将五年期的基准放款利率调降一码，但还是无法缓解市场忧虑的情绪。And of course, the Chinese economy is having a lot of huge problems right now, and so I think that perhaps some of his, you know, initiatives and his intense focus on national security、uh, has spooked international investors. Uh, it is spooked, probably even Chinese business people. Right, confidence. Global confidence in the Chinese economy is at an all-time low. 在接受 TVBS 国际评论员余文琪专访时，前美国白宫国安会亚洲事务资深主任麦艾文就表示，中国大陆国家主席习近平是主导中国大陆经济政策的重要关键。以往经济成长优先的做法，现在应该已经做出改变。What's clear is that national security is now. Become come on par with growth and development in terms of priorities, right? It used to be growth over、okay. everything, and now the party talks about finding the right balance between development and security. And as a result, you see the internal security services in China becoming much more active, and that include that that it that includes their activism on the U.S.-China relationship. 国安排第一，影响到中国大陆的经济发展，同时也冲击到美中两大国家的关系。麦艾文认为，习近平明确感受到，与美国是属于长期战略竞争关系，因此做出调整。I think Xi Jinping is the most important person when it comes to the U.S.-China relationship, and the fact that his views have deteriorated, the fact that he centralized decision making so much and politicized it. I think has created an, an environment where、um, it's just much more difficult to manage the U.S.-China relationship, and everything comes down to what Xi Jinping believes and and is willing to act on. 不止习近平对美中关系的悲观看法牵动两国之间的情绪，接下来的美国总统大选也成为左右两国发展的关键。If Trump gets elected, we should expect a lot of uncertainty and volatility. His people have also talked already talked about、uh, massive increases in tariffs toward China,、mm-hmm. for example. Right, so that's a that's a possibility that's out there. Now, if if Trump doesn't get elected. I think the Biden policy of managed competition will continue, and I think the Chinese will try and extend further this sort of current era of dialogue and stability in the relationship. If Trump wins, U.S.-China relations will change. Taiwan will also be affected. Mai Ai-wen also said that Taiwan must make an adjustment. To me, the, the, two, the two key strategies are always resilience and diversification. Right, diversify so you're not dependent on any any one person. For Taiwan on the defense side, that's obviously difficult because the United States、yeah. is its biggest defense partner. But one of the most interesting things about the Taiwan issue in recent years is that it's really become a global issue, and there are European company com- European countries as well as、uh, Asian countries, American allies and partners that care a lot about Taiwan. 麦艾文认为，比起以往，台湾有更多具有影响力的伙伴。从亚洲、欧洲到大洋洲，许多国家都在关注台湾的情势发展。因此，与各国保持良好的互动还有合作，能让台湾在美中台情势快速变动当中，依旧能够站稳脚步。TVB 新闻。综合报道，想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。